Welcome to Double Your WDW, the channel that gives you the best Disney World tips, tricks, and advice to plan your ultimate Disney adventure. So if you want to plan the absolute best Disney vacation for your family, you're in the right place. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be the first to know about what's new in the world of Disney. It also makes Mickey smile. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. All right, let's get into it. Bright Suns Travelers, I'm Julie Elster with Double Your WDW, and today I want to talk to you about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World. This new land located in Hollywood Studios is by far the most immersive thing that Disney World has ever created. And so I want to help you get the most out of your time there. So today I want to share with you my top five tips for getting the most out of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Number one, let yourself get fully immersed. Not only is this land visually spectacular in detail, it is also literally the most immersive land that Disney has ever built. When you're in the land, cast members are no longer cast members at Disney World. They are residents of the planet Batu, and they'll talk to you accordingly. So if you ask them about where to find mini ears or how they like working at Disney World, be prepared for them to respond as a resident of the planet of Batu. I suggest you let yourself get fully into the fun. Interact with cast members and have fun with their commitment to the character. You'll also notice that their vocabulary is slightly different. First time visitors might be surprised when a PhotoPass photographer says they'll take your scan rather than your photo. Here are some of the differing vocabulary words you might find on Batu. Bright suns is a greeting given during the day. Rising moons is a greeting given during the evening. Till the spires means goodbye. Refreshers are restrooms and you'll pay in credits instead of dollars. Also, a scan or a facial scan is a photo. Aside from just conversation with cast members, you'll find the writing in Batu to be different than writing here on Earth. The language you see on the signage is written in Arabish as well as English. While these letters and symbols are similar to that of our English alphabet, some of the signs around the land might take an extra glance for you to decipher. You can find a letter guide in your park map that'll help you decipher text throughout the land. You can also use the Disney Play app to help you decipher signage you find around Batu. Number two, plan ahead. If you want to experience some of the extras in the land, you might want to consider making advanced reservations. With the popularity of this brand new land, Disney has decided to open advanced reservations for three popular stops in Batu. Oga's Cantina is the first of these stops. This is a lounge that serves both alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks, as well as small bites of food. The stop is both fun and unique and is a must-do for big Star Wars fans. You'll have your choice of several amazing and fun drink concoctions, you'll listen to the music stylings of DJ Rex, and you'll enjoy an out-of-this-world atmosphere. While this location is open to all ages, be aware that it is in fact a lounge and it's 90% standing room. Alcohol is served and it can get loud. Plus, no strollers are allowed inside. So if you bring a little one, be prepared. You can make advanced reservations for Oga's on Disney's website. You can also make advanced reservations for the Droid Depot. Here you'll be able to take home your very own droid. Aside from just building, there are various options to actually bring your droid to life. You'll choose between a BB series or an R series droid. You're given a basket to collect parts and a blueprint to put your droid together. Then you select your droid parts as they move down a conveyor belt. Droids are $99 plus tax and you can buy extra accessories to make the droid your very own. This extremely popular shop is accepting reservations on Disney's website. Lastly, Savi's Workshop is also accepting advanced reservations. If you've ever wanted to build your own lightsaber, here's your chance. You'll be able to choose from light side or dark side to make this lightsaber your very own. This unique and interactive building process is unlike anything else. Lightsabers cost $199 plus tax, and this very popular stop is currently accepting advanced reservations on Disney's website. Number three, stop to find new and amazing animatronics in Galaxy's Edge. Did you know that there are tons of new animatronics all over Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? The most well-known being Hondo Onaka, who is found in the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run ride. He is one of the most amazing and lifelike animatronics that I've ever seen at Walt Disney World. 
If you didn't know otherwise, you might think an actor is playing the part. But he's not the only animatronic that you'll find in this new land. If you head over to the creature stall in the marketplace, in the center of the shop, you'll find a Lothcat creature sleeping in a cage. This mother Lothcat is said to be the mother of all of the creatures for sale in the shop. You can watch her tail move and her seamless breathing as she sleeps. While this is a small and subtle animatronic, it's incredibly impressive to say the least. You'll also want to stop by Ronto's Roasters to find droid 8DJ8 grilling a Ronto beast over a pod racing engine. This animatronic might have limited movement, but he's incredibly impressive in that he's life-size and he speaks as he grills away your delicious lunch. Next, you can head over to the Droid Depot. Here, you'll find two droid units communicating back and forth, a BB unit and an R unit. You can watch them chat as you build your very own mini droid in the shop. Next is Oga's Cantina. We already know this incredibly fun stop has amazing drinks and atmosphere, but it also has the music stylings of DJ Rex. This animatronic you may remember from the Star Tours ride when it first opened in the 1980s. He was the original pilot before C-3PO took over. DJ Rex is voiced by actor Paul Rubens, who you might remember as Pee Wee Herman. He plays music and dances, all while you enjoy your drinks at Oga's Cantina. Lastly, you'll find Doc Ondar in the Den of Antiquities. This amazingly detailed animatronic runs his antique shop in Batu. His fluid movements, eyes blinking, mouth, and speech are so fluid and realistic, you might think he's a real creature. These are just some of the amazing animatronics you can find in this new land. Let me know in the comments if you found any other fun animatronics while visiting Batu. Number four, interact with characters in the land. If you visit the Tai Echelon in Galaxy's Edge, you'll find a mini show where you can see Kylo Ren introduced. You'll also find stormtroopers roaming around the land interacting with guests. They're mostly there to keep you in line. We have eyes on you. You can find Ray chatting with guests, and Chewbacca will be roaming, interacting, and giving big hugs. It's important to note that there are no set character interactions or lines for meet and greets in this land, which is very un-Disney World. These characters are just roaming, so if you see a character, just stop and chat with them and become a part of the story. If you're into a more set character meet and greet, don't worry. You can still head over to the Star Wars launch bay in the animation courtyard. There, you can meet BB-8, Darth Vader, or Chewbacca, all with a standard meet and greet location. They'll even have their own PhotoPass photographers. Number five, visit the land first thing in the morning or at the very end of the day. If you're looking to get the most out of Galaxy's Edge and visit the land with lowest crowds, I highly recommend getting to the park at Rope Drop and heading straight to this land. This is the time you'll find the lowest crowds in the parks and be able to experience rides, characters, shopping, and atmosphere with fewer people. The same goes for later in the evening. Not only will crowds start to lower at the end of the night, but you'll see Galaxy's Edge lit up beautifully. This land is absolutely stunning after sunset. It's something I would highly recommend seeing during your trip to Disney World and Hollywood Studios. So what do you think of the new land at Hollywood Studios? Are you excited to check it out? Have you already planned a visit? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what your favorite part of Galaxy's Edge is or what you're looking the most forward to. If you liked today's video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload more videos. Till the spires, weary travelers, and I'll see you guys in the parks.